What's up, everybody, and welcome back to CountryCast. Today, we are going to be talking about country star Morgan Wallen. Why? Well, who's not talking about Morgan Wallen right now? But it's not what you may think. Yes, Morgan Wallen has been skyrocketing through country music. He has over 10 million monthly listeners on Spotify alone. But there have been some recent decisions that Morgan Wallen has made and it has come back to haunt him with a lot of backlash from fans. So yes, is Morgan Wallen making waves on stage? Absolutely, no doubt. But it's the waves that Morgan Wallen has been making off the stage that has caused him all the controversy. Y'all know what to do, stick around so we can talk about just what in the hell Morgan Wallen has been up to. Stick with us. <laughs> And just real quick before we get started, remember to head on over to our social accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to give us a like and a follow. Our Facebook is CountryCast, our Instagram is CountryCast News, and our Twitter is at CountryCast News. If you are new here or have been by the YouTube show before and just haven't had the opportunity to hit the subscribe button down below, please go ahead and do so. Turn those notifications on as well as hitting the like button so YouTube knows you love CountryCast and we can keep bringing you updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. All right, so what is it that has caused all of this controversy for Morgan Wallen? Well, Morgan Wallen was originally scheduled to appear on Saturday Night Live coming up on October 10th and perform. However, due to some recent events that transpired over this past weekend, Morgan Wallen is no longer going to be performing on Saturday Night Live. So now that we have laid out the main issue here, what is it that went on this weekend that has caused all of this backlash. According to a post made by Morgan Wallen to his Instagram, he revealed in a photo that he was attending an Alabama football game this past Saturday. As you can see, Morgan Wallen is posing here with professional golfer Justin Thomas. Now, some of you are probably thinking, okay, that's just one photo. What I would like you to do now is take note of Morgan Wallen's attire. I'm about to show you several videos courtesy of The Boot that appear to reveal Morgan Wallen partying after uh, the game here in Alabama, wearing the same attire. And uh, let's just say that COVID protocols do not seem to be on Morgan Wallen's mind at all. Hey, I'm sitting down here in Tuscaloosa, hanging out with my new friend. <laughs> So I would imagine by now, after seeing those videos, you guys are kind of understanding what this backlash is stemming from. There were several people who turned to Twitter and criticized Morgan Wallen for his decisions. And here are some of the tweets of what these folks had to say. One Twitter user wrote, if we see Morgan Wallen on Saturday after he spent the last few days partying without a mask, I'm gonna be real pissed. Next user writes, so Morgan Wallen wore a mask to a college party, but then made out with 20 plus girls, makes sense. Next user, coronavirus cases in Tuscaloosa rise as everybody who met Morgan Wallen took mask off and crowded bar for a photo. Next reads, who's Morgan Wallen? I wouldn't have to ask that if he had just worn a damn mask. It's now October. Get with the damn program. There's no excuse to be ignorant and selfish. You can see there they hashtagged SNL. Last one we have for you says, as it should be, partying all week without a mask, inviting COVID with every breath. I won't watch when he's on. Disrespectful to all. Of course, after these videos surfaced, it started raising a lot of questions about the Saturday Night Live crew that Morgan Wallen would ultimately come into contact with on October 10th when he was to perform. And by the way, this was gonna be a great episode for SNL. Morgan Wallen was already performing and it was gonna be hosted by comedian Bill Burr. And of course, SNL is on its 46th season. 
But ultimately, this came back to haunt Morgan Wallen, and he has been officially canceled from performing on the show on October 10th. As we have seen in the past, Morgan Wallen is a man who takes ownership of his actions. And he has added again, he made an apology video that he posted to his Instagram account, not only apologizing to fans, but country music also. Here is Morgan Wallen's apology. What's up guys, it's Morgan. It's a tough video for me to make, um, but a necessary one. And I just wanted to let you know ahead of time that I actually did write some stuff down because I, I got a lot to say. And this is something that I take serious and I don't want to miss anything that's in my heart. So if you see me looking away from the video for a second, that's why. Um, I'm in New York City in a hotel room. I was getting ready for SNL this Saturday and I got a call from the show let me know that I will no longer be able to play. And that's because of COVID protocols, which I understand. I'm not positive for COVID, but my actions this past weekend were pretty short-sighted and they have obviously affected my long-term goals and my dreams. I respect the show's decision because I know that I put them in jeopardy. And I I take ownership for this. Uh, I'd like to apologize to SNL, to my fans, to my team for bringing me these opportunities. And I let them down. And on a more personal note, I, I think I have some growing up to do. Um, you know, I, I think I've lost myself a little bit. I, I've tried to find joy in the wrong places and I don't know, it's left me with less joy. So I'm gonna go try to work on that. I'm gonna uh, take a step back from the spotlight for a little while and go work on myself. Um, I wish I could have made country music and my fans proud this Saturday. But I respect the decision once again, and, and Lauren Michaels actually gave me a lot of, of encouragement by letting me know that we'll find another time to make this up. So that means a lot to me. Thank you for that. And lastly, I, I know that I'm taking some heat, a lot of heat, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that your messages of encouragement haven't gone unnoticed either. It may be a second before you hear from me for a while, but uh, I'm going to go work on me, and I appreciate y'all respecting that, and I'll talk to you soon. I love you. You know, some may think, ah, it's just Saturday Night Live. It's no big deal. Not that big of a performance. Well, actually, Saturday Night Live is a big deal to a lot of artists. A lot of big names in country have also performed on that stage, and artists outside of the genre. Luke Combs recently just performed on Saturday Night Live as well, and it's not really much of a shock when you hear a country artist say it was on their bucket list to perform there. So this was a big opportunity for country music, and obviously for Morgan Wallen. However, he is going to have to wait until maybe there is a chance that we get some type of uh, rescheduled date for him to be able to perform on the show. As you heard in Morgan Wallen's apology video, he is gonna kinda step away from the limelight a little bit and focus on himself and uh, try to grow from this. 2020 has not really been kind to Morgan Wallen. We know he was arrested earlier this year um, under the alleged charges of public intoxication and disorderly conduct when there was an incident outside of uh, Kid Rock's Honky Tonk Bar. So hopefully Morgan Wallen will uh, take this time to really reflect on everything that's occurred and uh, come back stronger than ever. Let's not make any mistake about it. This man is a really great country artist. We are glad to have him in country music. And is it really shocking to see a lot of folks upset about this? We have been dealing with the coronavirus all throughout 2020. These protocols have been put into place to help save lives. And also, if you wanna talk about the entertainment side of things and the entertainment industry, it has truly been affected. We have noticed it. We're not attending shows. These musicians and artists are not 
going out and performing live shows. So it is a little frustrating to see an artist not following these protocols, knowing that this is also not just affecting us, but it's affecting them as well financially. So hopefully uh, Morgan will take time to reflect on this. Like I said, he'll get back on his feet in no time and we'll continue to get great music from Morgan as we have done so far. But until then guys, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation down below in the comments. That will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on as well. Hit the like button. Remember, so YouTube knows you love us here at CountryCast. So you never miss out on any breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.